Hello. That sucks. That really sucks. Hey, I'm Harry and I'm 26 years old and I'm working as a doctor in Melbourne, Australia. And I don't know, I decided to make some videos. So, so let's see how this goes. I want to do it because I feel like as a, as a doctor going through med school and then starting work as a junior doctor, you want to see people in your position doing the things you do every single day and going through the same experiences and feeling the same things you feel. But in Australia, I just didn't feel like I saw that. Um, so. I wanted to show other people what it's actually like to be a doctor and share my experiences and thoughts and feelings and the ups and downs and, and what it's actually like. So I wanted to give like an accurate representation of my life going through as a doctor. So right now I am a PGY2, which is a post-grad year two. And that means I'm a second year doctor, um, two years out from finishing med school. I work as a surgical resident at one of the hospitals in Melbourne, Australia. Med school is pretty good to start off with. You actually feel like you're on top of things in your first year because you're doing stuff how you've studied your entire life. You know, you're at uni, you're doing lectures, you're sitting exams. But the real like reality check is when you get into the hospital. And that's where I felt uh, a new feeling that I really didn't feel like I had before because I was good at exams, I was good at tests, but I didn't know how I actually was like talking to real life people about real life medical issues. Um, so I think I went through a bit of like an up and down phase in that like second, third year. And then after that halfway point, I really started to enjoy it and really embraced like the clinical aspect of medicine, which I found was the most helpful. So, um, I think you get a bit of false security at the start, um, but it's really good to get into the hospital system um, as soon as possible and just spend as much time as you can with the actual patients doing actual medicine. If you go straight from school into medicine, then that's a five-year degree. Um, but what I did was I did a three-year undergraduate degree. I did a degree in biomedicine, and then I went into my four-year uh, medical degree. The first year is essentially all theory. So you stay at the university doing like lectures and shoots and prat classes. You don't really spend any time at all um, out in like the big wide world of medicine. And then from years two, three and four, you are based at a hospital around Melbourne. And I went to a particular hospital and the way it works then is you still have your teaching. So you have like your lectures and your shoots at that hospital, you're no longer at the university. Um, and then in your spare time, um, around your lectures and your class time, you spend it on a specific rotation. So you might spend, I think my first rotation was in orthopedics. So I was there for about two or three weeks and you just shadow, you go on ward rounds, you see patients, you go to clinic, you spend time in theater. If it's a surgical rotation, you practice your skills, you learn how to do stuff and talk to patients and get like real life experience, which is the most helpful thing. I think initially when I was figuring out what I wanted to do in medicine, it was a process of ruling out what I didn't want to do. And that was the easiest thing to start off with. But then I sort of like life as a student, as a medical student is a bit interesting. You get a warped experience of what that unit or that field or that specialty is actually like. Um, so I had ruled out a lot of things and it really only left me with anesthetics, um, which when I started to think more about it, I don't think I really wanted to go down that path. And 
I think I only really knew what I wanted to do properly in medicine once I started working as a doctor. And it was my final rotation in internship, which was a surgical rotation. I did urology to finish off the year. When I was working in that environment, I really gelled with the, uh, the pace, the flow, the people, and just the overall structure of the way a surgical specialty works in a hospital setting. So I think I'm definitely keen on surgery and more specifically urology. Um, but for a lot of people, you know, you never really know until a few years into working. So don't be too stressed. You have no idea. Although I'm interested in surgery, I want this um, channel to be about the entire experience of an Australian doctor, um, not just focusing on the surgical side of things. And I think working for a little close to a year and a half now, um, and especially spending all that time in med school and before that, um, you start to learn a whole lot about medicine as an entire field and what it's like to be a, a doctor in Australia. So I wanted to document my experience, people I talk to, the things that I've learned along the journey. And hopefully that helps, you know, if it helps one or two of you, then great. If not, then, well, I'm just making a video and talking about my feelings, so that's fine. That's what we do. That's what we do in the theatre. That's stuff like that. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Are we doing this? Yeah, that's good.